So now we're going to talk about a special type of triangle, which is a right angle triangle. Now a right angle is basically 90 degrees. So that's half of 180. So can you guess what that means? So if you've got 180 degrees, remember it's half of the circle. So if you've got half of that again, it'll be like this. And that angle there, which actually we usually use a square to represent 90 degrees, would be 90 degrees. And if we have a triangle with a 90 degrees in it, and in fact this actually, if you notice, the angle here is always 90 degrees, so this is actually a right angle triangle. Um, and we can see we can change the shape of it by moving these and that will change this angle and this angle but this angle stays the same so from our theorem we can see that if this is 90 and all the angles inside the triangle add up to 180 and 90 is half of the other half of the angles these two will add up to 180 as well no will add up to 90 so Let's um, let's put that in. So if this is 90 degrees, and let's say we've got an angle X here, then this angle here will be 90 minus X. Why? Because 90 minus X plus X plus 90 equals 180. And we know it. We know that the angles inside the triangle add up to 180. We know this one's the 90. So what's left is that. So this one and this one added together always add up to 90. So if you notice, if we know that one of the angles is 90 and we know this other angle x, then we also know this this angle. Um, and this angle is just going to be 90 minus x. So that's 90 minus x. So we know all the angles in this triangle. We don't know how big the triangle is, but if you remember from the last uh, video, then the ratio of these sides doesn't depend on how big the triangle is. So if we know what x is, that actually defines the ratio of the sides. Yeah? And we can see if I if I get another triangle up, we can see that this ratio of the sides, if we make it really, really long like that, what happens is this this becomes closer to this and this becomes very small. So when the angle X is very, very small, we can expect that this length and this length will be quite similar and this length will be small. So the ratio of this over this would tend to zero uh, or this over this because this. So and the neat thing is that mathematicians have already worked out what these ratios are. So there's functions in your calculator if I can find a pen, sine x. So if you give this function a value x that's between 0 and 90 degrees. It's got to be less than 90 degrees because if you notice, if this got as far as 90, what would this angle be? Well, it would be 90 minus 90, which would be 0. So that's really the extreme case where your rectangle's gone, your triangle's gone so small that this side here has actually disappeared. So if you give it an angle between 0 and 90, what you get out will be the ratio of two of the sides. And the sides that sine gives you the ratio of 
uh, firstly let, let's actually give the side some name so the long diagonal here is the hypotenuse I always think of hippopotamus the longest side is hypotenuse now if we're t if we're if the angle we're giving sine is X then that's this angle and we have to name the other two sides according to this angle so we're giving sine the value of X so the line that's next to X we call the adjacent which just means next to and the line that's opposite we call the opposite So this function in the calculator sine x the value it gives you back out is actually the opposite over the hypotenuse and there's two other functions cos x now what does cos x give you? Cos x gives you the value of the adjacent over the hypotenuse. And the last one is tan. Tan of x gives you it's these two, it's the opposite over the adjacent. So we've got three formulas and there's the way I always remember these formulas is let's actually just say this is H, this is A and this is O to make it shorter then the formula, the, the way that I remember them is so ka toa and from remembering that I can always remember it sine is opposite of a hypotenuse cos is adjacent over hypotenuse and tan is opposite over adjacent.